I'll officially call this meeting of the Seneca County Board of Commissioners to order for a Tuesday, October 23rd. Please join us for a pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To join me for a brief prayer. Lord, thank you for this beautiful fall day. And as we all go about the business and all the things that happen this time of year, special causes, recognitions, the elections, harvest, all of those things, please keep us all civil, keep us all of the right mind, keep us all in the state of doing what's best in your honor. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Roll call, please. Here. Here. Okay. The motion to approve the digital audio video recording of the previous session of Tuesday, October 16th. I would make a motion that we approve the minutes. <laughs> Is that easier? <laughs> it's all some, the same thing. We had some technical difficulties. Oh, oh that's right. The, uh, video was, the video was an issue, wasn't it? Okay. All right. <clears throat> the minutes. And I will second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Um, adjustments to the agenda. Yeah. Stay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, I have one thing, and I'm going to start off with this. Um, I would like to publicly denounce the anti-Mike campaign. Mike is traveling. Mike Kirshner, Commissioner Kirshner, is traveling today on a planned trip. That's the reason he's not here. Um, with business he's doing, but. Um, I would like to denounce the anti-Mike campaign that was a mailer that went out. I didn't receive it. Somebody has shared it with me. And, you know, that's not being done locally from anything I can tell. I've not dove in and researched it, but I will say that I don't believe at all that Mike is against schools, wants higher taxes, or whatever else it says that I don't believe to be true. Um, and I just, you know, people ask, and I just want people to know that is not driven by local organizations or groups or individuals to anything of, that I'm aware of. So just want to make that statement. Mike did that when this happened two years ago on my campaign. So it is only fair that something get, that something gets stated because it's it, it's not driven from here. Old business, Justice Center. Just a second. I had a couple quotes that I, I want to get some finalization on a few things. Um, one was some sidewalk uh, work. Looks like um, total amount for this would be 2800 It's on uh, South Washington. It calls for um, a section to be leveled. Uh, with the bricks, uh, looks like this is in front of the RTA. So they, they're doing a little bit of the Justice Center and the RTA in one quote. The other section is on Market Street, um, uh, two by four foot, 20 long sections to be leveled, curb in front of the Justice Center. Um, I know we had had the work done when we did around Gibson and down on down on Washington Street. Um, so John had asked if. Um, and this would could come out of his budget, not necessarily out of the Justice Center because it's the sidewalks, but um, since it was front of the Justice Center, I didn't want to forget to bring that up. So, um, yeah, no, that's good. We, yeah. we It worked out really well to do the hydro leveling yeah. out on Washington Street, cleaned it up. There's some money <coughs> spots. So, yeah, I've been looking forward to getting that. Cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. He said that in his budget, so we'll just with that one. Um, I have a request from 
uh, the judges on the third and fourth floor of the Justice Center in the um, hearing room, small hearing rooms. The, the lighting seems to be dark. It's got dimmers on the walls and it's up as bright as it can go. Um, it, it would kind of look like maybe that light section would be missing and it just feels, it feels dark in there. So um, we did talk to Sewing about it. They said it was in their specs. So obviously this would be an additional cost to the county to do the third and fourth floor to add the additional row of lights. Um, for both floors is $4,106. Those are the fluorescent fixtures. It's not, it's not some kind of canned lighting. It is, uh, I'm pretty sure it is a canned lighting. They're recessed up in, um, but they want to add an There's additional, no, they want to add additional five. <clears throat> That's in the hearing room? Yep, both hearing rooms. Okay. For, for third floor and fourth floor. So that would be an additional four thousand one hundred six dollars. Um, we did also get a request uh, from Jean. Um, she had asked for additional two light fixtures in her office. She said it just felt kind of dim in her office too. That quote was seven hundred forty-eight dollars. That's in the title side or the in her her office in the legal side. So. Um, the other quote I have is for the, um, the sound issue that the, the courts were having on the third and fourth floor. We did a test on the third floor. We checked out with Judge Schuff. He confirmed that the, um, the repairs that they had done on the third floor works. So uh, asking to do the same um, work on the fourth floor which I do have money in the line if we're okay with moving forward with this because we kind of hoped this was going to work, exactly. um, but we didn't want to go ahead with both floors if we weren't sure this is what was going to solve the problem. What's so, the quote on that? Uh, $4,344. And who's contractor? Um, it's through um, Gilbane. VM Systems. And is this resolve all of our sound issues then? Is this the final? Yes. Third floor said it worked. Um, there was a couple. hundred percent off in all their offices. The Judge Stuff's comment was it, it worked. It's now definitely muffled. It's definitely better. We take, we'll take better. So, you know, he didn't say it was perfect, but he said it was way better. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've been eager to get that resolved. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that was all of my Justice Center requests. So I guess the only one I, I mean, there, there is funds in line that, that, that we wouldn't have to appropriate any additional um, for the, the lighting, um, but it was not anticipated it would be extra. It's just for the fact that we didn't use all the money we appropriated. I mean, I wouldn't have to do a sub app, but I, I want approval from sure. you guys before I move forward with the lighting. So. I, some of these things we just knew that you were bound to happen. You yeah. never got new until you're in there and and so forth. So. Yeah, I didn't. Got to take care of it. Do you want a motion or um, just as long as you're okay with those? Because I, I don't need the need the funds. I have the funds. Okay. If you're all okay with it. Uh, the only other thing I did want to bring up is um, in the annex. <laughs> the good news is they're open yeah, for business sure. today. Yeah, Juvenile probate is open for business today. Um, I want to revisit the request to put in the evidence room uh, for the judges in the old town <coughs> area. Um, I don't have a physical quote. John said it was about $1,900 to put the walls in. We won't have to do a door because he's going to use, they've agreed to use the existing door that you used to go in through the title office. Just put a couple walls up there and then obviously the <coughs> light switch to put in there. Um, they've asked for that and we've also had a request from uh, the clerk to add an additional wall in that area for her items that are in that room. So um, John did not get a quote for that. He's assuming it'll be over. I mean, if 
the evidence rooms being a much smaller area is going to be 2,000. He's ex expecting it to be more than that. Do they have funds that they could use for that? Mm -hmm. They've asked the county to do that. So uh, both yes. both the clerk and the judges. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we need to. I think we need to see the cost yeah. of you know. I mean, I realize we know the one of the one, but of, of the clerk's <coughs> request and know what that's going to cost and that kind of a thing because, I mean, it, it is a secured area, but but obviously she wants a different height and level of security on it, and right. I just guess we just need to know what that what their cost right. would be. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't um, have it by today, but I wanted to mention it. Yeah. Okay. So, okay that's uh, all. Wishes to finish old business or go to the executive session, which which you have a preference? Do we have Thomas? people here for the executive session? Do we have people? I have here? one. Um, so do you, should we wait for personnel? Yeah. Sure. I mean, do we have everybody here that we need? Mm -hmm. right. I guess we can take care of that in the essence of their time. Okay. So, motion, motion to go into executive session for the purpose of discussing personnel. I will second. Call the roll, please. Yes. Yes. Executive session. It's 10 10.